Let's look at Pathfinder Office and how we can use it to create a data dictionary. Again, a data dictionary, we can think of that as uh, an attribute table. It's the information about the features that we're mapping that we want to collect while we're out in the field. So again, this is really important to do a lot of pre-planning. Decide exactly what you're going to create and record before you go out. So there should be uh, quite a bit of thought that goes into what types of features and what attributes you're going to collect as part of your data dictionary so that you get all the information that you need and it's done accurately. So in Pathfinder Office, I'm going to look under Utilities and find the Data Dictionary Editor. Uh, I want to pay attention a little bit to the version of TerraSync that I'm using to make sure that matches uh, your differential, uh, your, your, your GPS unit. So for our older uh, Trimble, we need to use 4.1. For the newer one, we can use 5. I'm going to give it a name here fire hydrants. And I'm not going to worry about a comment. Now for what I'm going to collect in terms of features, I can use any combination of points, lines, and polygons. For my fire hydrants here, uh, let's collect uh, a point feature. So I'm going to select points, say hydrants, make sure that I've chosen the right feature type. It's going to be point. And then I want to pay a little attention to some of these settings, um, the default setting in the symbol. I'm going to keep the logging interval to 1, so that means every second it's going to be recording a location. And for this point, I want to improve my accuracy a bit. So I'm going to create, uh, I have a minimum number of positions is 10. So that means as I'm standing there, it's going to record 10 locations and average them to get that one point. That's going to improve my accuracy just a bit. And I could stay there longer for 60 seconds, but 10 seconds is going to be about as much time as I need to take the attributes anyway. On the accuracy setting, if I select carrier, it's going to force me to collect enough information to have carrier phase processing. It's generally more accurate, but sometimes I can't get the satellites or the occupation time. So I generally leave it just to code, and it will uh, differentially correct the carrier phase if it has the information it needs for that. And then the symbol, I'm going to choose something that's uh, appropriate for a fire hydrant. And this is what will show up in Pathfinder Office and in the unit. I say OK. Now I've got my feature type. Now I want some information about that. So I'm going to start adding attributes. Let's say we've got uh, four different models that I'm likely to run across. Now I don't want to type that in each time. Uh, so I could choose a text field, but then I'd have to type that in, and I might make a mistake out in the field because it's tough to type that in. So I'm going to select a menu item. And that's going to allow me to select my four different types and just have that as part of a drop down. So let's have. Model X is one type. Oops, no, hold on. I want that to be model type. All right, now selecting the different types I might run across. I've got model X. I'm going to make that the default. Model Y. Model Z. And we've got a few older ones that I'm just going to label as other. All right, so this will generate a drop down that I can choose between model types fairly easily. And it's going to default to the one that I think is going to, I'm going to see mostly, which is model X. So it's going to be fast to collect out in the field and less likely to generate errors. Say OK. I can keep adding. So maybe there's a different um, connectors and their connector size. So I want a numeric here and say pipe width. Um, and then I'm going to uh, allow them to add one decimal place. So the minimum, I know the minimum they might run across is a 5 inch and the maximum is a 12 inch. And the default, the most likely, is a 10 inch. And I'm going to specify in inches here in my comment just in case it's not clear. Say OK and I've got a new uh, attribute there. And I'm going to add one more, the chance for them to add notes out in the field. So it's going to be a text field, say notes. Allow 100 characters here. All right, close that. And now I have my fire hydrants with my feature type and three different attributes. The last thing I'm going to do here is hit save. And I'm going to save this um, to an appropriate place on my hard drive. Good luck.